But yeah, I did, did a lot of hard campaigning. Uh, did some up north and south and out west. Uh, let's see. Just, have you ever were you at the Siege of the Lonely Tower? Do your attack? Never heard of it. Ah, that was a hard fought battle. Mm. I think it's time for one of those meals in between meals. Okay, you go right ahead. Would you I'm like some? I've got plenty. I'm fine. You're always hungry. Now, it was, let's see. Would you want some? Let's see, were you at the Atreation War with the fall of the Wizard King Otto? Another one I haven't heard of. I'm sorry. I have traveled quite a bit. Sounds like you're not exactly from these lands. <laughs> or maybe you've been in areas I haven't been. Well, which is very possible. I keep going to different places and then they... It's a they, nice snack. They keep claiming they've never heard of some of the places I've been so I've had to move quite a bit. I've been yeah. Some, myself. some people don't believe the words that come out of the mouth around here. It's alright. Well, Proof's in the pudding. Or on the end of your axe, depending on there how it go. goes. Yeah, personally I prefer a nice bow arm, but I can do, you know, weapon, shield, a uh, sword, a couple of swords, a couple of maces. I fought one guy that liked to run around with two maces up like, you know, two maces up like this. And go, hi, I'm not protecting my lower parts. Yeah. Um, they used to call them a, a lot of things, but the thunder hand was probably the most, because you'd wind up with a thundering headache when both maces wound up right there. It sounds like he's more like a meat shield. He you was go in front. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you you know, learn pretty quickly. They always complain about how women talk. But you get two guys talking about their battles or their wars. And that leaves us out here standing in the rain. Well. When we could be walking in the rain. <laughs> or you could be doing something useful in the rain, like finding dry firewood or rabbits. Or how do you find dry firewood in the rain? Look in the heavy structure. And I always remember to leave your shield over your helmet in hot weather. Unless you would like to fire. Well, it likes doing your brain after putting it back on. No, I've, uh, I've known a couple of people who've done that. Got to feel a little heat stroke from that. Yeah, they were commanders too. Oh, led to some of the more intelligent charges I've refused to participate in. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what a yeah, sight! What a sight to see! Oh yes. Excuse me. Now usually they have me out on the flank. You know, usually flanker. A skirmisher, huh? Yeah. I like to I like to throw things. So. Like I said, I love pole arms. Pole arms are lovely for keeping people away. Especially cavalry. You, you need a good group of tower shields to help you out with that. Sometimes, yeah. I actually fought with a unit that did uh, pole arm and greatsword for a while. Those were a lot of fun guys. That sounds like a lot of fun. Yeah, it was. Not a whole lot of shields. You know, a few, few guys with shields that had crossbows behind them. But Mostly pole arms, long spears, great swords. They were fine. Well, you don't see a lot of shields up here. Mm -hmm. I'm not surprised. Mm -hmm. Some people don't. Okay. Well, let's see. Yeah, the, the wonderful thing about one of those fighting in one of those units is it's like fighting in a forest. There's lots of wood everywhere, and you normally wind up. Uh, you catch a lot of arrows. That's why you have a few guys with shields. Yeah. Oh, is this the sword you were talking about earlier? Yeah, should be easy. Yeah, good, but water, water level's uh, actually kind of down a little bit. Like we can nice stop. Being stuck in the middle of the continent, we kind of get all the crappy weather. Well, this seems pretty bad already. Yeah. Now it seems like <laughs> it works. Never, ever say that. The last time someone said that, in the summer, we were up in the mountains <laughs> and we got snow. I've seen things like that happen around here. <laughs>
good. Why, thank you very much. Say, we got a ruby and an amber. If you guys want to partake in that. I know you have to find Mr. Amber. <laughs> well, yes. Mm. Oh. Oh. oh, look, we have uh, a couple of potions here as well. Oh. Here. I I'll just take this here. If you guys need those, go ahead. I've got a couple of, of my own. Especially since all I did was scream and run. Well, hey, so did I. Congratulations. I went back in. Well, let's make it fair at least. You do have, you are being adequately paid for your services? Yes. Excellent. You'll take those. Oh. I'll just take this. Yeah. Ah, man, true discernment. Should square us all up here. Yes. Yes. Now I would suggest we seek shelter somewhere. Yes, let's move quickly. Anywhere. This way. Yeah. Shadow. You know, if those robbers were... coming through here. That's going to get worse. Yes. Uh, uh, you know, it gets worse before it gets better. Uh, yes, but if you can uh, stand the worst. Uh, as long as the go. cave doesn't flood anymore, uh, we'll be okay. But that. I would hate to find out that uh, suddenly our cave has become, well, much less cave and much more. Well, Fine. judging by uh, where we are, I'd be more worried about drought than... Uh, yeah. Kind of a little flood. Well, can I go back to worrying about floods? Uh, yes. Amy? Go ahead. Abby, <laughs> Abby. Abby, sorry. It seems that the arc of the cave would mean that high ground would be up there. If the cave yes, flood, but it's also. We go up there. Well, see, there's light coming in from this area. It's dark, and I can't see anything in that area. I like this area. Now, if you want to go off mucking in the dark where you can't see anything, and the best thing you're going to find is a bat, go do it, but no, I'm staying here. Nobody here has torches? Unfortunately. 